here at Republican headquarters, the story is still pretty much the same. The votes are still coming in and being tallied, and there's still quite a large crowd. With me is uh, Republican County Chairman, Mr. Bob Holt. Mr. Holt, how does it look uh, here at your headquarters tonight? Well, we have uh, 45 percent, or 45 precincts out of 62 reporting in, and uh, there are some surprises, and uh, some of the races are a little further apart than I thought they were going to be. There were some that I thought would be within. By surprises, what do you mean by this? Well, let's just take a look uh, on my sheet here, if I may. In, uh, oh, I think in the uh, commissioner of the 2nd District, uh, Jack Eisenberger is leading by 1,400 votes, which is more than I thought he was going to lead that particular race by. Would you consider this as being uh, an upset trend, then? Uh, no, I guess it was just a good, hard campaign and uh, a lot of hard work. There were four real good men running in that particular race, and uh, it was uh, just surprising to me that uh, uh, it was as, uh, as spread out as it was. The other three ran pretty close together. And uh, we've been keeping track of John Hampton's uh, vote in Delaware County, and he's been running 55.5% of the vote for 45 precincts. And uh, that trend has remained uh, pretty constant throughout the whole uh, evening. Are there any uh, upsets currently going on? Uh, any unexpected turns for the worse or for the better? No. Uh, the two incumbent uh, uh, legislators are leading in the joint representatives race, and uh, Bill Frazier is running uh, state senator for the two-year term, is running quite a bit further ahead than I thought he would. Uh, he's a freshman in the, in the uh, political arena. What uh, do you foresee in the future as far as the uh, 10th Congressional District is concerned? Well, I, the only other county that I've heard from, I do believe that, uh, that uh, this particular race will be won by around 1,000 votes or less. Uh, and the only other county that we've heard from at all was Henry County, and uh, John had gotten 20% of the vote in Henry County. What about the presidential race? Of course, there's no contention with Richard Nixon uh, running unopposed, but does this mean to you that there could be any kind of crossover voting, the Democrats voting for Republicans or vice versa? Well, in checking the precincts today and the crossovers, we had just as many Democrats ask for Republican ballots as we had Republicans ask for Democrat ballots, and it was a very small number in both parties. Then, in other words, this could be, uh, you would say this is rather insignificant then? I would think so, yes. Mm -hmm. And 7,000 votes were cast uh, for Richard Nixon with 45 precincts uh, cast, and that means that he should run approximately 9,500 votes uh, for the 62 precincts, which does make it just a little less than uh, four years ago in the presidential race, uh, the number of votes cast by about 1,000 votes. Sure.